Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that. I always have my own. Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about things I've been loving a lot at the moment. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Now I'm on my way out and I'm just going to quickly share my scent of the day. Now this is a combination that I just stumbled upon because I did not know this would work. I didn't think of them together, but my combo of the day is Nefs by Nishane. I know it's very, very, very pricey. And I've got Annie by Nishane. Now, I love this brand. I don't think they could make a bad perfume even if they tried. Nefs is one of my favorite perfumes ever. Like, it's literally in my top 10 for life. Together, they are so, so incredible. Now, I wore this perfume one day. And this perfume always gets me compliments. It's a spicy green vanilla that smells intensely beautiful. So I wore this on a particular day. And then my husband was out and he wore this. So I hugged him when he was about to leave. And I was just realizing that I couldn't, like he left home. And I couldn't just smell Annie alone. And I was thinking something keeps whiffing at me together with this Annie. And I discovered that it was this. So I mixed them together on a different day. And when I tell you guys the compliments I was getting, oh, the compliments were flowing left, right, and center. So these two together are a powerhouse. If you want your perfume to project for hours on end, you want to smell incredibly sophisticated, super, super unique, this combination are just everything. Now, I didn't describe nerves because nerves is so hard to describe. It has so many notes that does not correlate to the scent of this perfume. But what I get is some kind of sweetness some very woody woody type scent but it's very much in the background it's not a forward woody perfume really difficult to describe i would say go and get your nose on this one for sure anyhow this combination are so so stunning together now before i dive into the things i've been loving lately i wanted to touch upon this new um collection of perfumes that is coming out by kayali and it is called vacay in a bottle when I tell you, the first one that actually drew my attention was the one with the banana. Let me just give you the information. So I got this from Fragrance City on Instagram. So there are four perfumes. It looks like it's going to come in there little 10 ml. like it looks like it's gonna come in in this size bottle um but i'm not sure who knows there might be 50 mils but so far um there's four perfumes so the first one is more divs in a bottle yelan coco 20 the next is maui in a bottle sweet banana 37 did you guys hear, hear that sweet banana 37 you guys already know this i'm going to get the next is Marrakesh in a bottle. This is Orange Blossom 24. You know how much I love me some Orange Blossom. Then we have Capri in a bottle. And this one is Lemon Sugar 14. Now, lemon and sugary perfumes are like making waves out here. And I'm loving this. This Vacay in a Bottle collection. Count me right in. If this is indeed coming out, because clearly I haven't come out to say that it's coming out. But I feel like this is legit. I really feel like it's legit. And because we're, you know, going into summer and I just, I just, I, I hope it's legit. Like fingers strongly crossed because this I definitely need in my collection. So, okay. So now I can move on to the things I've been loving lately. I'm going to keep this as brief as I possibly can, but here we go. So I'm going to interchange between perfumes and products, but I'm going to start with this incredible combination that I came across on Instagram from the seven virtues and it is vanilla woods and also cherry ambition now these two perfumes this is a cherry perfume this is vanilla and woods like alone they smell so so amazing to me i think they are such a well blended perfume that is very very pleasing to the nose they have good longevity especially the cherry ambition the longevity on this on me is like eight hours plus i love their packaging it's nice and simple it's just giving that clean girl aesthetics now the combination together is just mind-blowing vanilla goes with most perfumes anyway but i could not believe how beautiful they paired together so if you have these two 
try them out and let me know what you think i think it's divine you get vanilla you get cherry and you get a really powerful smelling perfume so next is the rare beauty body lotion now this one took me by surprise i love the packaging i love rare beauty packaging i think they are just so clean so fresh I, I just love the color now this moisturizer works it works it makes like i got ashy elbows yeah and i do have ashy knees as well that like, i got ashy dry skin <laughs> when i tell you this actually moisturized my skin so so well it has a very soft clean powdery scent to it you don't need too much it moisturizes smells great but there's not a lot in this bottle now this is a 250 ml it almost feels like a, like 100 ml because i went through this so quickly because i was using it every single day like this and glossier you the perfume oh my lord you are going to smell clean fresh and just nice like Eating Juicy Lychee by Kayali. I remember saying that I found this to be very juvenile, like young, and it is. It is a, like a young smelling perfume for the young people. But I've been pulling for this. Now, my, my daughter wore this the other day, and I couldn't believe she was wearing this perfume. It just smells, it seems to smell different every single time. And I'm loving the lychee in here is really, really nice. Now, this has notes of black currants. Guys, my eyes. I, I've been putting off going to the opticians for a while because I know I need glasses. I know now that I need glasses. And the more, the longer I put it off, the worse my eyes are going to get because I can't read things that are too small. I'm having to squint. So yeah, I'm definitely going to visit the opticians very soon. But anyhow, this has black currants, sp sparkling lychee, rose, candied violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood. I don't find it to be a woody scent at all. To me, it's like a fresh fun fruity lychee scent i do smell some sugariness to it but it's not a complex scent but it smells so so damn delicious on the skin i am obsessed with this next we have um a peppermint all-in-one magic soap by dr bonas now i got mine from holland and barrett here in the uk i have used quite a bit of this i find it really hard to get up in the morning it's it's, it's 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 a problem but when i get up and i get in the shower and i use this when i tell you my whole body wakes up like i become so alert and i just love the mintiness of this a little goes a long way this lathers quite a lot and it's perfect on the skin it's not drying my thought was when i saw this online a few years ago i thought this was going to be drying because it's got um peppermint it's just giving dry for some reason but this is so far from it it's really well priced perfect for the whole family i'm in love now next we have banana banana by l'artisan perfumer this perfume is my holy grail you guys know how much i love this i have a whole dedicated review on this perfume which i rarely do if i do a dedicated perfume video you know i'm obsessed with the perfume and this is one of the very few ones that i did banana banana is your powdery um green not too green it's like subtly green banana scent that has a little bit of, of, of a gourmand element to it i believe there's tonka bean in here this is delicious this is delectable this is delightful this perfume is everything to me it's unique nobody will smell like you wearing banana banana now somebody sent me a dm on instagram and said to me that banana banana has been discontinued the way tears welled up in my eyes i was just like no it can't be now this person is someone who really knows the tea when it comes to perfume so when they said this i was scared i was so scared that <laughs> i said to my husband i called him i was just like i can't believe it banana banana is being discontinued and he was just like is that is that why you called i said yeah i was like i need to get some and then a few days later Tell me why I got a delivery and my wonderful husband bought me <laughs> not one, yeah, two, <laughs> and the other one is over there, three extra bottles of Banana Banana by Lattes and Perfuma. I love this perfume. If you know me, you know this is everything and more to me. So my husband is the sweetest man ever because yeah when i got it i was like okay this will last me at least the next five years hopefully because i wear this i wear this all year round this to me is not 
a seasonal perfume this is an all-year-round scent it's a date night scent it's a day-to-day -day scent i can wear this to a wedding i can wear this to an event this is a perfect perfume in my humble opinion one day when i make my own perfume best believe there's gonna be an element of banana banana in my perfume one day very very soon i love this perfume so much it's not been discontinued i sent an email to Lartisan and i said <laughs> please tell me this is not being discontinued they said no it's not they have it on the website you can buy it i believe they ship to um canada usa i believe they ship worldwide but do send them an email if you're not sure email customer service and ask them if they can ship to your country this perfume is everything and more now we have bread everyday hair gloss i have spoken about this to you guys i want to say two months ago this is incredible any hair type it could be kinky coily curly straight wavy blonde brunette like whatever your hair color is your hair texture is this is perfection on your hair when i tell you on these braids like i put it on my scalp i put it on my braids i put it in my waves my wigs i put this everywhere it smells so delicious like think of like a strawberry dipped into some type of a syrup it smells like a super super sweet strawberry scent not sour not tart sweet strawberry scent this is amazing it was sold out i believe i sold this out because when i spoke about it a lot of you guys went ahead and bought it it was available at selfridges and now it's going to be available at boots.com if you're in the usa you can probably buy this off of their website I'm pretty sure this is amazing if you want to take care of your hair and you don't want to spend too much this is incredible now we have juniper sling by pen halligans now think of gin and tonic fresh citrusy bright aromatic scent this is amazing think of a gin and tonic in a perfume form it's so fresh it's refreshing almost like a super cold refreshing drink i am obsessed this is going to be my staple this spring and summer check this perfume out if you have not already a lot of people don't talk about this one but it's definitely worth checking out so that is juniper sling by pen Halligan. next is this christian dior balm now this is meant to be for hands lips and body it reminds me of the chanel um and cream you, you can kind of see there's a bit of a resemblance there but <laughs> I will say this it says this is for hands i agree this is really nice it's not gonna moisturize your hands like a lot it's okay um and it says it's for lips it's don't use this on your lips guys i find this to be so weird because it's like a creamy texture like a hand cream texture i put it on my lips and i regretted it immediately don't put it on your lips in my opinion anyway and it's for the body uh no by the time i use this for my whole body i need 10 of these like this is perfect for your hands or maybe for your elbows or when you're out and about and your knees get dry like i said earlier i've got dry knees and you're out and you just want to like you know moisturize your knees or a little bit of your feet something like that like little little parts of your body not the whole body this is really really nice it doesn't smell like anything it's like a really plain clean scents I, like i said i think they are quite similar in terms of scent even because this doesn't really have a scent to it it just smells like a clean almost like a hotel cleanness type of scent i really really enjoy it you don't need the both of them i believe this is slightly more expensive i feel like this one is a little bit better i don't know but check them out let me know if you've got this one it came out i think it was last year i don't remember but yeah it's really really nice like i said on the hands nowhere else the next perfume is my Peregrina by Thamin. I love this perfume a lot. This perfume is one that a lot of people don't love at first sniff. And I feel like they just don't get it to start with. When I first sprayed this, I got it instantly. I was like, yep, this is me. This is me in a bottle. Now, this is a very deep and dense rose with some oud. Even though oud is not listed, no one can tell me this does not have oud. And it has a very prominent note of caramel. This is amazing. This is perfect for all year round, except for summer. I feel like summer, this is going to give too sweet. Um, but in the autumn, in the winter, in the spring, in the evening, this is perfection. Long lasting. You don't need to spray too much. This is going to last you for ages. I love this. Peregrina by Thamine. 
the next perfume is malo by soradora i keep going on about this perfume for a reason this is my favorite from soradora i think it smells so delicious so powdery so sweet so beautiful it's it's so lovely it reminds me so much of my beloved insolence by Guerlain. but i feel like this is a little bit more modern smelling i'm obsessed with it so the next item is actually a lip gloss or a lip mask i have been loving lip glosses lately i don't know if you guys can tell i've really been investing on lip glosses in lip glosses and this one is really good this one is by tatcha kisu lip mask this has been around for a while this i feel like this lip mask is constantly viral like everybody loves this and it comes with like a little spoolie spoon thingy which is lovely you scoop it you put it on your lip i like to use this the night before i don't really wear this in the daytime morning time your lips will feel so so soft and kissable i'm obsessed yes it's another pricey one i love to spend money on items that make me feel good and this <laughs> definitely makes me feel good the next item is this leave-in conditioner I have to share this because for those of you that wear braids like myself and you've had your braids in for a while you want to take it out and you get this build up at the root of your hair and it's really hard for you to comb it out spray this once you take out your braids with moisturized hands i normally use coconut oil when i'm taking out my braids spray the root of your braid and watch that build up just glide out literally glides out your hair doesn't break as much it does break every time i do braids my hair break and, and i don't know why i keep <laughs> braiding my hair but i just find it so easy to manage on a daily basis anyhow if you spray this on the root of your hair the break the, the build up will slide right out it will be so it will be so easy for you to manage your hair to wash it it is perfect and it smells really nice as well and i think this is like two for ten pounds a super drug at the moment don't quote me it may not be on offer anymore but i really really love this even on your natural hair you can spray it on your scalp it just feels really really nice and it's actually good for dry and damaged hair so check this one out and last but not least is my versace dylan purple i absolutely love this perfume i love the bottle i think it's a pretty packaging this smells like a juicy fruity pears with berries it's got some florals in there this is amazing it lasts long it has a sugary sweet vibe to it but it's no way juvenile it's not a juvenile smelling perfume it just smells amazing out of all of the dylan's <laughs> by versace this is definitely my absolute favorite the others gave me a little bit of aquaticness that i didn't enjoy but it's not like that in this one this is just a fruity sweet perfume that i feel like a lot of people will enjoy so that is versace dylan purple so my lovelies that is all the stuff actually it's not all the stuff i've been loving it's like half of the stuff i've been loving but i didn't want this video to be too long i hope you guys have enjoyed watching please comment down your favorites let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye